Home Diaries. Every house has a story. We're the Basils. And we live in a log cabin. My good friend, Brian, lives across the street, and we would always see this house. It was just really overgrown. It didn't appear to be anything that we would be interested in. There was a for sale sign in the yard. I opened the front door. I was like, wow, this is a log cabin. I just knew that they would love this place. Brian was like, hey, that house that y'all have been ignoring, dude, it's a log house. You need to, you know, you need to take a look at it. And I was sold right then. I wasn't sold. This clearly was not something we could just move right into. But once I got beyond the size of the project, then it started rolling for me too. I wanted it to be a cabin. We need to get all this other crap off of here and let it be a cabin. The cabin's pretty well preserved because it had two layers of siding over it. Anywhere that we could, we tried to reuse stuff from the original house in the new construction part. The cabin portion of this house is probably close to 200 years old. This was the original subfloor. It probably at one time after the floor had been dirt, this was probably the original floor. It's got to have insulation under it and all that because you're going to live in it. So we numbered all the boards, starting in the corner, and then I took them all out. The boards were just horrible. They were black. In addition to the dirt, I had to try to get the numbers up. This little white marks, those were my paint marks. <laughs> we had to scrape up. the paint off, which was kind of ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Carla found this roll of garden fencing in the woods. I drug it up here. I was exhausted. And I'm like, babe, you've got to come look at this. <laughs> I came in one day and Jay had used the fencing and made this awesome railing. It's probably one of my favorite things about the house. We found a few cool things um, in addition to the fence. Carla's dad was up there on the loft. There's a shadow box made into the wall. It was original to the house. When Carla's dad pulled that out, he found the picture in the wall behind it. And we don't know who they are, but it, it's a picture of a young couple. He's sitting and she's standing, and neither one of them appeared to be very happy about it. It's old, I would say probably from the 1800s. We found this little brown tin from the 1930s. It's called the Three Merry Widows. And it held three reusable condoms. <laughs> and they were all gone. <laughs> in order for me to be willing to live in his log cabin, he would have to have aspects of the whole place be for me as well. So it wasn't just that we were living in a log cabin, it was something that we could do together and, and make it be our own. I love my house. <laughs> if we're able to stay here, my dust will be out here in these flower beds. We'll be here for a while. <laughs>